you're trading, no one wants to think that they're lucky. Everyone wants to think that they're intelligent. So gambling is luck. Basically, being a good trader is being intelligent and smarter than everyone else. That's what you get the high out of. It's not about basically necessarily the money. It's about basically proving everyone else that you actually understood things better. And that's actually sort of the, uh, I think, one of the main psychological drivers. And yes, the money's important, but you kind of goes back to my earlier comment. You want to make sure you understand something, and you almost want to have, almost be seen to yourself as having somewhat of a prophetic ability, saying, this is where it is, this is where it's going to go, and that's essentially what the process is. And, you know, it's, I'm sure the gambler has the exact same idea. He basically says, it's going to come up red, it's going to come up 26. Um, and perhaps, you know, we've got a whole bunch of quantitative analysts and graphs and charts and meetings with central bankers and all sorts of stuff to justify why it's going to come up at red 26. Um, are our odds better? Probably marginally. <laughs> but um, but there is a, there's a certain science to it, and I think the fact that there is some sort of science and some sort of explanation behind it beyond just that I thought that was the right thing to do, it gives people a lot more comfort. And if I think people understand why you're doing things, they're usually sort of comfortable with you taking on that supposed risk.